It's been a day of days. What is happening? I'm so excited for these bangs to go away, guys. I know, you were all right. Shouldn't have gotten the bangs. Sometimes I like the bangs. And by sometimes, I mean there's probably been two times where I've been like, huh, these are all right. Rest of the time, not a fan. I don't know. I'm trying to grow them out, but they're just going so slow. I hate them. Should have done it. But also, like, I'm glad I did it. But also, it was really dumb. Do you keep trimming them a little bit all the time? No, I haven't trimmed them in a very long time. Which you can tell by, like, if I just let them down. Like, they're past my eyes. But, yeah. Not a fan. I want them to go away. Anyway, hi everyone. I'm about to get my IV treatment and then I'll feel like a new human. Oh, my merch is out today. So make sure to go check out my merch. I have a bunch of cute new merchies. So go check it out. Go get some merchies if you want it. What else? I don't know. Happy 4th of July this weekend. I don't know. We're still in the middle of a pandemic. It's not like we can like do anything. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> That's down there. You're just down there? This is my camera. It is? Yeah. Can you see yourself? Mama. What? Mommy. Yeah. What's this? <laughs> oh, look at that. Pretty cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you sing your pack in the trash song? Packing. Oh, Mama. Oh, yeah? Good idea. Okay, what's your good idea? Are you going to sing a song? Are you hiding? Sometimes I find my husband doing things and I'm like, yeah, I like you. <laughs> this is like the hottest thing I've ever seen you do. I come downstairs and you're doing a craft outside. Like, join me. can I join you? Join me in craft, please. Okay, I guess we're painting a coffee table tonight. Come downstairs, we're putting fun to sleep. I'm so tired and feeling yucky and I see my husband painting. I was shocked to see you, I didn't know you were. I was like, yes, painting, crafts. Fun. Get involved. I like this color palette. Okay, we're, we're just going, going with that. By stripe, yeah. All right, fine. Blue got into the mix, but I don't know about it. And I'm only doing one coat because I like how you can kind of see the under. Okay, got it. Fun. Funky. I love Funky Town. The Funky Town. We're gonna get a new coffee table because we got new furniture for out here. We're gonna donate it or move it to like one of the balconies upstairs or something, and then we just started painting it. So now I don't know where it's gonna go, but it's pretty funky. It's all my bangs. I'm tired. I know, I look like a mess. I know. I'm doing a little craft. I wanna show you my bump because it feels huge today. I feel huge because I've already changed how I walk. Like I'm walking different, it's crazy. Okay, so here is the bump today. Look at that, are you kidding? I feel massive. Like most girls aren't even showing at 14 weeks. Like most girls do not even show. And this is me? Like what do you mean? But anyway, today I'm in pain, like a lot of pelvic pain. And so like, this is literally <laughs> my not joking around my walk today. Like, I'm like a waddly, like, like I just can't believe it. I feel huge. Okay, anyway, I wanna talk about something kinda serious, and really sad. I debated even talking about this. I feel like I should tell you guys. So I asked last night what I should talk about today or what I should talk about my vlog for last night. And a lot of people said a lot of cute, fun things. Um, a couple people said an update on the bunnies. So if you didn't catch my vlogs like a week or, I think it was like a week ago, Eric found two newborn bunnies that were completely abandoned in a dog park on a path. Like they weren't near any nest. Please go, if you want all the information, please go watch because I explain this in detail. I would, and Eric would never take a wild animal baby away from its mother or away any ever. Like it's not something we do. It's not something we wanted to do. It was very clear that these bunnies were nowhere near their nest. Something had dragged them from it. Something had happened. We don't know what. There were dogs everywhere and they were clearly a day or two old. Eric brought them home to me. He was at the park with Flynn. He brought them home to me so I could like watch them and not have them like just rolling around at a park by dogs while we figured out what to do. So we called two different wildlife rescue 
two places with no luck. One of them ghosted us and the other one gave us the name of a bunny person who also ghosted us. And so I found another rabbit place um, that deals with wildlife rabbits um, in my hometown of Santa Barbara. I took care of the babies for four days, four or five days. And then we finally got in touch with some people who are bunny animal experts and they took the bunnies from there. When we gave them the bunnies, they said we did exactly what we were supposed to do. They said this on the phone too, by the way, when we called the wildlife rescue place, they're like, you do what you're supposed to do. You should not have left them there. They would have died. But the place we ended up giving the bunnies to they said you did a great job these bunnies look so healthy like you did everything you right you were supposed to do like they're very complimentary and so the bunnies looked really good and I was really happy and they said so we're gonna take care of them for about a month and then we're gonna give them back to you to release exactly where you found them so they're in their exact habitat that they are were born in. And so I was really excited. I told you guys about that. I was very, very excited to see them again because obviously I got to nurture and take care of them for four days. They called and let us know that the bunnies did not make it. And I am really sad. <laughs> I'm really sad because it was a really hard decision, like taking care of them. We didn't know what to do. We were just trying to do the right thing to take care of the babies. And they said we did everything right. When we dropped them off to them, they said that the bunnies were perfectly healthy. And when they called to let us know that the bunnies passed away, they said, you know, it was nothing you did. This is baby bunnies. Like they, it's really hard for them to survive without their mom. Um, it's very rare that they live without their mom. You did an incredible job keeping them alive as long as you did. Um, and we tried our hardest to keep them alive, but like babies just don't survive without their mommies. I'm really sad and I do, even though everyone has told me like you did the right thing and they wouldn't have survived had you not picked them up, like they survived even longer than they normally would have in this environment, like you did such a good job with them and all of that. I still feel like a little bit of guilt. I'm like, should I have, should we have not like taken them from the park? Like, you know, they were healthy and good with me. So I'm like, did they get used to my scent? and then? me giving them to new people was that the mistake I made but like everyone advised me to like bring them to experts and so I feel like that was the right decision but then I'm like but then why would were they surviving with me but then they weren't surviving with them you know they were so nice on the phone and were just like so sweet about it but I still feel just like so awful and so sad and so bummed a few of you have been asking about the bunnies and I knew that like I could just not say anything but obviously I told you guys that like in a month we'd get to see the bunnies again and release them into the wild and so I knew like a few more weeks would pass and you guys would start being like hey where are those bunnies so I figured I might as well just tell you now I'm really really sad about it yeah it's a total bummer and I'm really sad so that's what happened to the bunnies yeah I feel awful and I wish that I could have done more I mean we did everything we could like I said please go watch my videos talking about it if you want to know like we really did do everything we could to save those bunnies and keep them alive the wildlife experts were just like this is just how baby bunnies are they cannot survive without their mom it's very very rare so yeah I'm sad anyway I love you guys and I'm gonna go keep doing my crafts because I'm a weirdo who does crafts late at night uh, I'm gonna go go have a nice 4th of July weekend with my family and I hope you guys have a nice weekend whatever you're doing I'm gonna go to bed love ya see you tomorrow you can relax Colleen and Eric have a podcast the world is scary and we're locked in our home but now we have big microphones so you can relax that's the name of our podcast